In today's episode, you will learn how to make an Arduino based 110 or 220 volt AC mains frequency monitoring system using a zero crossing detector based on the EL817 optocoupler. This is the second version of the frequency monitoring system. While in the first version of the mains frequency monitoring system, I used a 2N2222 NPN transistor to send the on-off pulses to the Arduino and display the mains frequency on a 16 into 2 LCD. As you can see in this circuit, there is no isolation between the controller side and the AC voltage side. So if any short circuit happens on this side, it will damage the controller side. So that's why I decided to make an advanced version of the mains frequency monitoring system using the EL817 optocoupler I'll be using the same program which I used in version 1 but this time I will only modify the circuit in this episode we will cover number 1 zero crossing detector circuit explanation number 2 interfacing number 3 programming and finally number 4 testing let's get started Components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The zero crossing detector circuit is very simple. Let's start with the 12 volt step down transformer. You can use a 220 volt or 110 volt to 12 volt transformer. The secondary side of the transformer is connected with the AC input legs of the bridge rectifier. This is the bridge rectifier as you can see it has four legs. Two legs are labeled with the AC signs and two legs are labeled with the plus and minus signs. The purpose of the bridge rectifier is to convert the AC into DC. Three 10K resistors are connected in series which makes the voltage divider circuit. With the help of these resistors, the voltage is reduced to 4 volts. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the IR LED of the EL817 optocoupler. This is the EL817 optocoupler as you can see. It has total of 4 legs. Leg number 1 is the anode and leg number 2 is the cathode. Leg number 3 is the emitter while leg number 4 is the collector. This is a current limiting resistor while cathode of the IR LED is connected with the ground of the bridge rectifier. On the right side of the EL817, a 10K resistor is connected with the collector while the other side of the 10K resistor is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. While the emitter of the EL817 is connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 4, which is the collector, is also connected with the Arduino's pin number 2. As you can see clearly, the Arduino side has no physical connection with the transformer side. So if anything happens on this side, it will have no effect on the other side. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram. The 12 volt step down transformer secondary wires are connected with the AC input legs of the bridge rectifier. Three 10K resistors are connected in series with the positive leg of the bridge rectifier. A 330 ohm resistor is connected with the anode pin of the EL817 while a 10K resistor is connected with the collector of the EL817. The orange wire is the 5 volt wire. Gray wire is the ground wire while the green wire is connected with the digital pin 2 of the Arduino. Now let's discuss the Arduino programming. This is the same program which I used in version 1 of the mains frequency monitoring system. And as I said earlier that in version 2, the modification is only on the hardware side, while the program remains the same. So for the best understanding, I recommend you should watch version 1 of the mains frequency monitoring system. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action.
The next version will be based on IoT based mains frequency monitoring system using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and Blink application. Subscribe now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.